All right, welcome everyone to another video in our course. So in our last video, I gave you a demo of how the application works. But now, in this video, I'm going to break down the functionality behind it. Um, but first, let me just give you a brief overview of what's happening behind the scenes before we get into like the nitty gritty, the formulas and all that. So when a, when a user initially logs into this guard application on this screen, and this is the initial screen. So when, you, when they log into this Power Apps, this is the initial screen that they will see. And if the current user is already in the guard information list, and I think I showed you guys this, these lists before. So if the user is in, if their data is in this list, it will populate that data and it'll be an overlay over this simple form. So this form wouldn't show. Um, and once that happens, when they click submit, I'm sorry, once that, if, if, that information is overlaid over this. You'd also see a gallery here and another form so that they can be able to enter in their daily checklist. And that's basically essentially what, what, what happens. So let me show you the formula, kind of give you a breakdown of how this works. So, um, first of all, I have screen one here. I would name this appropriately, but I just want to let you, you know, this is the, the first screen. The first screen is always the initial one that shows up unless you change it. Um, so every screen has properties. So up here in this drop down, there are properties and these properties change the behavior or change what something does or looks like. So I'm going to go to this on visible property for this screen. So whenever this screen shows, this is what happens. And I have this formula in here. This is what happens. So this formula is just a mix of conditional checks and a data lookup. So essentially what happens is as the lookup checks, this lookup here checks to see if the current user is in the list. And if the list, if the user is not in the list, the show gallery variable will be checked, will be set to false. And it'll be set to false because this is blank. This is blank is essentially what it is checking is um, if the results of this lookup, if it's blank, it returns true if it's blank. So right now, because this is blank, this is blank will be true. And if you know, in the conditionals, as you can see this here, um, when this logical test is ran, when this is, when this check is done, this will be the true value. So if it's true, this would be the true value. If it's false, that else will run. So since this is true right now, this show gallery will be set to false. Here, if, if it isn't true, this show gallery will be set to true. And then this will also run. It'll grab all the information from here and dump it into this var form info. So let me show you really quick. So here is my um, image. If I go down to my to the visible property of this image, right now the gallery is false. So if you think about it, if this is, and I'm talking about the show gallery is false. If I select the whole thing, it's true. So right now the show gallery the Boolean of it is false. So meaning that, um, do I want to make this visible? Damn, I'm confused. I do want to make this visible. Watch what happens when I remove this. See it's false. So I'm using what is called a logical knot. Op a lot operator. So this is the logical not operator. And what that essentially does is it flips 
um, or inverts whatever Boolean value, value is. So since this is false, the logical not operator flips it to true. And so I'm assigning this visible property of the image to true. And therefore it shows this. If you look at this as well, let's go to the, the visible property of these values. Same thing. True. And that's the same thing for each of these as well. They're, they're all, you know, they're all true and that's why they're showing. And that's why this is showing. So once I go in here and I enter in some data, everything gets flipped and turns to false. So let me enter in some data. All right. So now everything that was true becomes false and everything that was false becomes true. I hope that makes sense. Now, if it doesn't make any sense, please leave your comments below in the video and I can help explain that some more for you. Um, in our next video, what we're going to be talking about is how this works, how this form works. One thing that I failed to mention is let me, let's go back. Actually, I'm not going to end the video just yet. Let's go to the submit form and look at the formula. So what happens when the submit button is clicked? You know, how do we get our data into our list? So let's look at this on. So this on select property just means that, okay, when they click on a button, what do you want to happen when they select it? And this is what happens. I'm using a patch to patch my data from, um, the values that were inserted, I'm using that to patch or insert the values of the form into my guard information list. And this is how you do a patch. So you have patch, the name of the list, defaults, name of the list, and then the values. These are the, these are the field names in my list. And this part here are just the values from the form that I am inserting into my guard information list. And then I do a, a guard, a refresh of the guard information. I also set the var form info. Um, I, I do this again because initially when I didn't, it wouldn't, um, the, the, the data wouldn't show. So that's why I had to set it again and I had to show, do the, do this one again as well. So I probably didn't need it on the on start screen. Um, but yeah, it does the same thing. So now, um, I'm going to show you in our next video, how this gallery works, because once you hit that, as you can see, this is showing here is the visible property, you know, it's true. So, and that's why this is showing. So quick re so a quick recap, when the current guard comes into this form, it checks the, sh the guard information list. If there is data in there, it puts that data into an HTML field set, which is this here. Here is the H I'm, I'm using the HTML text control. Here is my field set tag. And I'm essentially just putting all my data in, in divs and adding it here. So I have the date, I have the name, email and location. And that's why it shows up the way it does. I hide the, the initial form. And then my checklist form shows up, patrol checklist shows up, and then this gallery, a blank gallery. And, you know, I can start to fill this out and to populate it, you know. So I go to um, the Gotham building two on the third floor and I do my observations and I can see nothing observed. No incidents. And I can come here and say, okay, do I need, I don't need to notify the supervisor. You know, if I had an observation or incident, I would notify the supervisor. What happens is when they click add, um, a notification gets sent to the supervisor, but we're not going to be 
doing that in this course. Maybe I'll have that in another in another video. Uh, right now, I'm just doing the functionality of the form. You know. So in our next video, we're gonna talk about what happens. You know how we how, the the patch we're using here. What gets set. Um, what other things happen when we when we do this? It's going to be a short video because not much is happening. Um, actually, we will also talk about how we're deleting and how we're editing our forms. You know, it's a little bit some little bit tricky, but we're going to talk about that as well. So it may be a little bit longer. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please again leave your comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel. Please share with others. Somebody may find this um, helpful besides you. Thanks for watching. Bye.